Hello, my name is Diego Valdez, and I am an immigrant. Don't worry, I'm 10. I'm not going to get into politics, but I'm here to talk about being kind to others. You see, when I was four years old, my family and I had to move from Mexico to the US because of my dad's job. I was very sad knowing I would have no friends, I would have to go to a new school, and most importantly, I'd have to learn a new language. I argued, I cried, I yelled, but that didn't stop us from moving. On top of that, we moved in December, so that meant we went from Monterey, Mexico, 100 degree weather, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 10 degree weather. Time went by fast, and suddenly, I found myself in a new school where I couldn't talk to the other kids or even my teacher. Can you imagine how that feels, standing in a room where you had no idea of what was happening? But I'm not the only kid that suffers these changes. In fact, according to the Census Bureau, since 2014, more than 1.5 million immigrants arrive in the U.S. every year. Think about that. That means a lot of families coming from places of Latin America, Asia, Middle East, or Europe to start a new life and send their kids to school. I am definitely not alone. So, how can we help all these kids feel better right at the start of one of the scariest moments they will ever experience? What can schools do that will help with the process of those kids integrating into their new school community? How about we create a program? A program that is always used in a case like this. This is my idea of a program with four steps that schools should implement. Step one, know about them. What if the teacher helps us learn more about where the kid is coming from? Maybe even a few basic words in their language. Let's think about an example. Rohan is a new boy in class that just arrived from India. The teacher prepared a small lesson about India and even taught us three basic words in Hindi. Namaste, hello, danyavad, thank you, Maranam Diego Hain. My name is Diego. This idea may even help us to improve our geography knowledge, which we're not very good at. According to the Last Nations report card from 2014, nearly three quarters of eighth graders tested below proficient in geography. So, talk about a win-win situation. Step two, identify a buddy. Since there are so many immigrants in our country, the chance is high that at your school there's at least one kid that can speak the same language or comes from the same country as them. He or she could help the kid around the school and help them understand what's going on since they probably don't speak English. Take me, for instance. Back in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at my other school, Stormont Elementary, a new girl from Spain arrived. The teachers asked me to help show her around and help her, un help her understand what's going on. But if you don't have a case like this, I am sure we can find a kid that is willing to spend some free time hanging out and helping them. There's always someone willing to take the challenge. Step three, navigate in their shoes. So just don't you think it'd be easier to help someone if you knew how they felt? I think if you got a little taste of what they're experiencing, you, you know more of what they are feeling. Maybe an exercising class could help. The teacher could assign the class a letter or maybe a test where all the words would be in a different language, like Chinese or Arabic. All the kids would feel f confused and frustrated, and that would be exactly what the new kid is feeling. Once President Barack Obama said, empathy is the ability to see the world through those who are different from us. And I think that might be the ingredient to help solve some of the global issues we have. Step four, develop the start of some friendships. How would you feel if no one played with you, ate with you, or hanged out with you? You'd feel very uncomfortable, wouldn't you? All these kids moving from one place to another start off alone and feel like they will always be alone. But what can we do to help them? We need to find a way to plant some seeds of friendship with the other kids in the class. For a few days, the teacher can, could assign the kid on projects alternating with all the kids in the class. That would open up to opportunities to hang out with kids at lunch, recess, or maybe even outside of school. I am a very lucky kid. 
Throughout the years, I have met people who have helped me adapt very quickly. Today, I speak fluent English. I have great friends and teachers who have helped me enjoy my new life. I have my parents and my brother who never gave up on me. And this year, I proudly became a citizen of the United States of America. Just imagine if we constantly repeat these steps with every kid that moves to the United States. We'd help all of them to adapt quicker, but we'd also help ourselves and our country unite and become a better place to live. Thank you.